Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's video tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at how we can link Instagram with Slider Revolution 5 and create Instagram-based sliders. This is great if you take a lot of Instagram pictures and you'd like to keep your slider up to date with all the latest information that you're posting on there. And I'm going to take you step by step through the entire process of not only setting up the slider in Slider Revolution 5, but also how we go through and register an application inside Instagram itself to make sure that we can link the two together to get them work correctly. So let's take a look at how we do all of that right now. So let's start off by opening up Slider Revolution and let's see what information we need to put in there for our slider. So I'm going to create a new slider and then for my content source, I'm going to choose Instagram. Now you can see that opens up a range of different options and we need to go through and find out the relevant information to put into this to make sure that we can connect the two together. So if we take a look at the five blocks of information, we need to find out exactly how many slides we want to sort of include. I would recommend limit this to probably about five or six at most. You don't want to slow your site down and make it painful for users. But obviously you can use up to the maximum 33 that they're saying on there. The cache, we'll leave that as is. The access token is something that we're going to need to set up through Instagram. And I will take a look at doing that now. We can specify the source of the photographs. And we can use the Instagram user ID, which is obviously going to be the ID of the account that we are using ideally. So let's go through and take a look at how we get that information in Instagram itself. So I'm going to open up a new tab and we're going to go to Instagram. So let's go over to Instagram.com. And at the end of that, we want to put a forward slash developer. From this, you need to make sure that you're logged in. If you're not, hit the login that will replace uh, where I've got Reaper TV up in the corner. Log yourself in, make sure you're logged in. You might need to go through a couple of other steps to verify your account. And if you do, just put that relevant information in there to verify it. And then you should have these options available to you. So we click on Manage Clients. That comes through and tells us we currently have no clients. So we've not registered any, so we can't get an Instagram API just yet. So let's click on Register a New Client. And you can see that asks us to go through and give it a range of information. So let's go through and put that information in there. So we need to give it an application name and we're going to call this one WP Slider. A description, we just call this Instagram Slider. Company name, well, WP Tuts, if I could type it. The next step, we're going to put the website URL in. Now I'm doing this on a local setup so i'm just going to put that in there and put the relevant link in for me now where it says the valid redirect uris what we're going to do is we're going to do the same roughly again we're just going to put in http forward slash or full colon slash slash localhost and this is just primarily because it's a, a a better way of using it for security uh, i won't go into too much detail there's enough information out there that'll tell you why you should use this but we'll just keep that as it is privacy policy well i don't really have one of those so we'll just put that the same there and contact email address well we'll just have uh, a fictitious email address that'll do so we can prove we're a human so you can see 600 let's just put that in and one or two other things we need to do before we move on we're going to switch over to the security tab and we're going to uncheck disable implicit OAuth if we don't this won't actually work so we'll do that and we'll hit register and that will then give you all the relevant information the client ID client secret and so on now obviously I'm gonna delete this once it's finished so don't worry none of this information is going to be usable so we're now ready to move on and start putting this information into our slider revolution okay so we're almost there we've generated this information but there's a couple of other things we need to do now I'm gonna put a couple of links in the description below and use those to do exactly what we're doing next. So I've got a little piece of code or a link that I need to put in the top and we need to replace part of that with our client ID and that will allow us to generate our access token. So I'm going to copy and paste that in a second and then I'm going to replace the bit we need. Like I say, all this is in the description below. So make sure you grab that from there and do exactly what I'm doing next. So let's open up a new tab and let's go and paste that information in there. Okay. So Paste that in. As you can see, we've got a little section that says client ID here. And what I need to do is put 
this little block of code, which is our client ID, and we need to go up and replace that, including the square brackets, with our client ID. So there we go. Now, once I hit enter, you'll see it says this is in sandbox mode at the moment and can only be authorized by sandbox users. Bank sandbox users. Do we want to authorize it? Well, yes, we do. And now we can see at the top, we've now got our access token. So if we copy everything that comes after the equal sign, so it's access token equals, there's our access token. So let's copy that. Let's go back into slider revolution and let's pop our access token in there. So there's our access token. Slides, we'll set that to be four. And my Instagram user ID, well, let's find that next. Okay, so let's find our Instagram user ID. So if we click on the find you here and click on the link, that'll open up a new window. And as you can see, it gives us three steps to find out what our Instagram ID is. So let's just go to Instagram. I'll go to my account. And what I'm gonna do is come down to any of my pictures and just right click, say, copy link. Then go back to the link that was opened up and just paste that URL and hit go. And there's my user ID. So I'll just copy that. Go back to Slider Revolution and pop that into my Instagram user ID section. So that should be everything done. So all we need to do now is come down, give the slider a name. So we'll call this Instagram for argument's sake. And we'll give it an alias. And we call that Instagram again. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll leave everything else as it is because I just want to sort of show you how to do it as opposed to set up how we actually configure the slider itself. So let's hit save on that. And that should be the basics of our settings already put together. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is you can see that at the moment the source is being set to transparent. We've got three options at the top. We've got stream image, video, video and image. So we can specify exactly what we'd like to stream through to it. So if you have videos uploaded to your Instagram account, you can specify whether to include them, exclude them, or to use that alongside the video and the images themselves. So choose whichever you think is relevant to you. I'm gonna keep it simple and just use the stream image. You can see now that the slide at the top changes to show us Instagram. If we hit save on there, we should now have everything in place to take a look at our slider. So let's test that out. Let's just go to pages and I'm gonna edit one of the pages I've got set up on here where we've got a slider. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that's pointing to the right slider and then we'll take a look on our sample page to see if everything's working the way it should be. So let's just open this up and edit it. As you can see, I've got the revolution slider option. If we click on that, we now have Instagram available to us so we can choose Instagram hit save changes and update the page. And then if we swap over to our test, we can take a look at that in action. And there we go. There's our image being dragged in from Instagram. And if we leave that, it'll transition through to the next image and the next one through the four that we've set up to be cycled through. Like I say, this won't show any videos because I set it up to only show the images. But if you have uploaded videos and you'd like to include those, it's simply just a case of choosing which of the checkboxes you want to actually confirm the sources that are going to be used. So even though it's a kind of complex process to set up the API and to find out your user ID, once you've kind of done that, you can store that information. You can use that again and again and again. Or you can just go through the process again. Now you've done it one time and see how you can set up multiple APIs with various different, different websites and different Instagram accounts. Well, hope you found this useful. I hope it's given you an insight into how you can link your Instagram account to your Slider Revolution sliders. And if you did find it useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the content we add every single week. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.